subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell icon for the latest film interviews, features and recommendations on the movies that matter. Gentlemen, lady, uh, you know, it's good to see you all. Um, I, I want to start by saying, we, you know, this is, a, this is interesting because there's a lot of talent in this room. And, and it's, you're, you're, you're actually, we're actually all over the world. Abhay, you're in Los Angeles. Pankaji, you're in Punjab. Uh, Ritika, you're in Goa. And Piyush Ji, you and I are Mumbai. Mein hai. But probably, bus, bus, bus. Uh, probably very close by. A <laughs> exactly. uh, lot of talent in one room and I'm not even counting myself there. Uh -huh. uh, you know, um, <laughs> we've, uh, we've gathered, of course, to talk about this film that you made called JL50, which of course is now converted into a four-part series, a four-part show that is streaming on Sony Live. You know, the premise of this show, which becomes quite clear from the trailer, is very interesting. A passenger plane has crashed in a forest in the northeast. Turns out it's the same plane that took off from Kolkata airport 35 years ago and suddenly went missing. Now, Abhay, you play the CBI officer that's investigating the case in, in mm. this mystery, really. Pankaji, you play a professor of quantum physics who helps decode this mystery. Piyushi, you play one of the two survivors in this crash who's a key figure in this whole case and Ritika you're the pilot of this plane who when we first meet is is extremely confused and we find out later why to each of you I want to jump in and ask you what drew you to this project what made this why was this a story that you wanted to tell uh, well I think the fact that it's science fiction you don't really get to do science fiction very often uh, you don't get uh, stories like these Usually you think science fiction, you think, you know, laser beams, spaceships and, yeah. you know, action. Uh, this one was more on, it was higher on concept, higher on drama. Mm. And uh, just the journey of the character through this sort of film, that story that travels through time. And, and this character who discovers things, the twists and plot turns that happen and, and the things he discovers is actually kind of what gripped me to the, to the story. Yeah. Pankaji? I think pretty much what Abhay has said already. I mean, it was a very gripping script. So that was uh, what sort of appealed to me. And uh, uh, I also liked the end of the film a lot. Uh, and I thought the character that they were offering me was very interesting. So that's how I just uh, went ahead and did the film. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, जो की जिसको लोग बाग देखने के लिए पैसे खर्च करते हैं और जैसे की पंकज साहब ने बोला लास्ट में इसका एंड जो है एंड जब होता है तो आपको लगता है की वाकई कोई हिंदी रियलिस्टिक फिल्म देख रहे हैं आप वो बतलाना बड़ा मुश्किल है वो बोल तो खैर मैं सकता नहीं लेकिन एंड पर इतनी ह्यूमन मूड पर खत्म होती है कि आप एकदम से शॉक हो जाते हैं कि यार ये अभी तो साइंस फिक्शन चल रहा था अभी एकदम से क्या हो गया ड्रामा ही ड्रामा है ड्रामा ही ड्रामा फुल ऑफ ड्रामा राइट रितिका यू आल्सो प्रोड्यूस्ड जेएल 50 यू नो अपार्ट फ्रॉम यू नो व्हाई वाज दिस अ स्टोरी दैट यू दैट यू वांटेड टू पुट योर स्ट्रेंथ बिहाइंड आई मीन माय मोस्ट फेवरेट जॉनर ऑफ मूवीज दैट आई लाइक टू वॉच एंड स्पेंड माय टाइम वाचिंग आई डोंट वॉच अ लॉट ऑफ मूवीज बट द वंस दैट आई डू आर ऑल साईफाई इट्स समथिंग आई हैव ग्रोन अप विद इन Uh, I always wanted to, uh, you know, see a sci-fi film in India for an Indian audience, um, which hasn't been done right before mm. this. And um, um, of course, I'm just uh, grateful that uh, uh, Shailendra actually accepted that challenge with me and said, um, "I'll do it." There are reports of similar incidents having taken place. I mean, there is the case, there, there is one report that suggests that. A flight from Chandigarh to Leh, which had about 80 soldiers, vanished in 1968, only for the wreckage to be found 35 years later in 2003. There's another report that says there was a German flight that went missing in 1954, and 35 years later, uh, it was found with skeletons strapped in the seats. You know, in both cases, it is of course believed that these that these planes entered a time warp. You know, the explanation that Pankaji's character gives on the show, uh, you know, Professor Das, he talks about the concept of wormholes and bending time. You know, to me, that was very interesting. But like Abhay's character, Shantanu, um, you have to question whether that is possible. Did you find yourselves, to all of you, did you find yourselves thinking about that, about, about whether this actually could be true? Um, it's funny. I just, this is a complete coincidence, but it says on my cup, time for tea. <laughs> 
um well quantum physics is obviously um seen proven to us that uh, you know particles at the minutest at the smallest level can behave completely outside the laws of physics you know two particles can be in two places at the same time two particles uh, one particle can be in two places at the same time uh, two particles can be connected across light years of distances so clearly there's a lot that we don't know and i think that's what makes this the story and and the the, the the theory of time travel interesting um i relate to shantanu's character simply because and as pankaj ji was saying you know as a common man this is not something that i can actually understand so for him to see a aircraft that's disappeared and reappeared after 35 years he doesn't believe that it's traveled through time and that's how any one of us with a logical mind would believe and behave and and i found that relatable as far as those examples you gave i'm guessing those were found 35 years later and with skeleton strap so clearly i don't know if that is proof that it travels through time it just proves that 35 years later they were found right <laughs> you know yes yes whereas in <laughs> in the case yeah in the case of this one what's intriguing is a flight is found and it's it's pretty intact you know um the bodies aren't skeletons they're still fresh and i think that's what makes it intriguing and that's what makes shantanu think this is some kind of a conspiracy or a setup because it's not possible for people to reappear after 35 years and not be decomposed so that's the difference between what you gave as an example of real life and what's in the film well series piyush ritika are mujhe maine koi sawal nahi ke shel se mujhe bada maza aa raha tha film padhne mein mujhe itni badhiya lagi thi shel ke sath kaam karne ka dusra mauka tha ye do saal pehle maine uske sath ek palki karke film ki thi isme ritika bhi thi maine abhi played father and daughter तो हमने जो मुझे इतना मजा आ रहा था स्क्रिप्ट पढ़ने में इतनी बार पढ़ी मैंने और इतनी बार मैंने उसे बधाइयां दी कि मैंने कहा तू इसमें गाने गा डाल गाने गा एक गाना भी है मेरा तो गाने डालने की सोच एलिमेंटरी लेवल पर एट स्टैंडर्ड में जो मैंने फिजिक्स की स्टडी की थी कि भाई आपके मतलब थर्मोडायनेमिक्स है इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिज्म या लॉज ऑफ मोशन या न्यूटन की थ्योरी ग्रेविटी को लेकर ये सब पर नजर डाल ली लेकिन ऐसा नहीं बोल रहा कि मैं मैंने रिसर्च करी इसके बारे में रिसर्च करने लायक मैं हूँ नहीं मैं एक्टर बन चुका हूँ तो जो है मैंने मुझे बड़ा मजा आया स्क्रिप्ट में सब कुछ था सब कुछ था और मैं उस तरह का एक्टर हूँ जो बहुत ज्यादा सवाल नहीं करता डायरेक्टर से मैं बहुत प्रिपेयर होकर आता हूँ तो मैंने प्रिपेयर होकर गया मैं अपने आराम से मस्ती करी एक्टिंग करी खूब सारा पियानो बजाया मैंने वहां पर एक पियानो रखा हुआ था मेरे मेरे सीन में खूब सारी जो है क्या क्या होती है भात मछली माछेर भात खूब सारा माछेर भात खाया बंगाल में खूब संदेश खाया और मैंने ऐश की Well, uh, I would want it all to be true. I, you know, I love all this stuff, and I wish I could actually travel through time. But um, I don't know if it is true. But yes, in in just like Pankaji said, and Abhay said as well, that there's there's a lot of reality. Even Piyushi mentioned that this. Uh, what's uh, once the script was ready, what was most exciting for me is that you know Shell had found a way to. present a very fantasy related subject in a very real believable way and that is what does it for uh, for this script and like i was mentioning before this interview started that yes there are uh, stories of these flights that are missing and uh, our inspiration was missing flights as well uh, but all of these stories only started coming a year and a half after we had already written the script and shot about 90% of the of the film so yeah you kind of do feel bad that okay when someone turns around and says you know that it's it's copied and you took inspiration but it was very validating at the same time that there's something like you know something that's similar to our story that is being talked about as something that's possibly real that possibly happened on a personal note i'm waiting for the day when we time travel so you know you know the story is set in kolkata and if you think about it 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 that's really a city that has this timeless kind of feel to it you know abhay and piyush you all have this uh, wonderful chase sequence in in these uh, small alleys and lanes and in fact what i thought was lovely was the bit where um, you know you all you all are in that in that alley where where the durga pujo uh, idols are being made i mean what's it like shooting that kind of a scene in that kind of busy city यार मेरे पास तो फोन मेमोरीज ही है फिल्म की मैं मेरे पास में गंदी मेमोरीज किसी फिल्म की होती नहीं है मेरे पास हसी मेमोरीज है बॉय मजा अरे इससे यार इतना मजा इतना मजा आया उस जगह शूट करने में इतना मजा आया उस जगह शूट करने में वो छोटे छोटे एली छोटे छोटे पत्थर की गली भी नहीं थी वो सकरी मतलब आप हाथ बढ़ाओ तो खत्म हो जाएगा और वो 
टेक्सचर उसका अजीब सा था अजीब सा मतलब वातावरण अजीब सा अजीब सा एटमोसफेयर था आस पास लगातार सैकड़ों मूर्तियां बन रही है उसके बीच में हम भाग दौड़ रहे हैं है ना आज ऐसी बात नहीं है कि अच्छा वहां पर लोग आ जा रहे हैं ऐसा नहीं कि रोक दिया गया बाकायदा आ जा रहे हैं शुक्र रुकता है आते हैं लोग बाग अम्मा बुढ़ी अम्मा आती है हाँ बेटा अच्छा करना करके चली जाती है ये सब भी हो रहा है वहां इसके बाद हमारा और बहुत ही जबरदस्त किस्म का सीक्वेंस है मार पटाई है उसमें मार पटाई हो रही है सब कुछ हो रहा है मैं लाठी मार रहा हूँ अभी को ये हो रहा है वो हो रहा है इसके बावजूद वो जगह चल रही है लगातार चल रही है लगातार चल रही है कहीं भी कभी रुकती नहीं है हाँ भैया भाई आप बोलो नहीं आई थिंक दैट्स दैट्स एक्जेक्टली व्हाट आई वाज गोइंग टू से सर कि वही है आई मीन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई थिंक व्हाट आई ओनली थिंक एन ऐड टू दैट इज जस्ट हाउ अमेजिंगली डाइवर्स द यू नो द आर्किटेक्चर एंड एंड द नेबरहुड्स एंड द स्लम्स अबाउट कैलकटा लाइक इन टर्म्स ऑफ टेक्सचर जैसे पीयूष ने कहा है इट्स जस्ट लेयर्ड एंड एंड आई रिमेंबर व्हेन वी एंटर दैट एरिया ऑफ कोर्स आई इट वाज माय फर्स्ट टाइम इन द सिटी एंड सो इट वाज माय फर्स्ट टाइम इन दिस इन दिस नेबरहुड and just being amazed visually speaking i was thinking wow ye camera pe itna acha dikhega aur <laughs> to choose this place you know to do a chase sequence is going to look so dynamic um i can see why it it is a city which definitely is something that you can put either either in a book in a fairy tale book in a photo book or in a film it just works amazingly well it's so much history and it's so much culture there you know abhay your character is of course on this literal search for the truth um yeah. as, in, in the case of this mystery in the case of this 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 plane um but as his estranged wife points out in another scene he's also searching for something else she doesn't quite say what it is and we learn later um mm. how did you see him um abhay and what was your entry into this character how did i see him i mean i always um you always look for something relatable in every character that you do So, like we were talking about earlier, I don't know if it was part of the interview, but before the interview started, we were talking about time travel and our opinion on it. And I, you know, I found it relatable that Shantanu is somebody who doesn't believe in time tra- time travel. So when he sees something and he's told something fantastical, he will dig deep into it um, and find the truth, which is going to be logical, which is going to be digestible, which is going to make sense. Um, so I started with that. He's an analytical mind. He's a detective. um there is there is more to him than you see yeah. for sure so uh, he's not somebody who gives away too much being a detective one he's not going to give away too much and have having secrets that he harbors you know about his history and who he is and where he comes from mm. that makes him even more reclusive and quiet and i think that's the estrangement he experiences with his wife um i could relate to some of this stuff you know i mean i'm not reclusive I'm not somebody who isolates himself, but you know I have had my moments where I've wanted to be by myself or taken off and taken some time out. So you just find bits in your life where you could perhaps say, "Yeah, I felt like this at that point," and then you use that and you develop that character. And then, of course, you have your co-stars and and the plot, and so you just kind of go with it and let it evolve, you know, because you want to be open to see what your co-actors are doing and react to them, and then discover. discover his mannerisms through their through their own spontaneity yeah. you know uh, pankaj ji your your character professor das um you know on the surface he seems like a man who has a very dull life i mean he goes to class and and teaches occasionally um and then he of course uh, you know comes back to an empty home he cooks for himself it seems like a very dull life but of course we we learn that he's harboring a secret from a long time why was he interesting to play Well, first of all, very different from any of the characters that I've done. Mm. Well, I played a scientist some forty years back, thirty years back, when I played Doctor Kimoth. Correct. Uh, but this was a different kind of a scientist, and though strangely in Calcutta again. Yeah. Um, to me, what was exciting was that somebody who is leading a quiet, unsaid kind of life. Uh, his life is suddenly stirred with something, which makes him alive all over again. and from his physicality to his mind to the way he thinks and how he wants to go about matters not revealing anything more than that um well he works his way into the into the situation that has happened uh, which is what i found as an actor very exciting and uh, well we nuance the character in certain way with of course constantly um, discussing it with shell and trying to find um uh, 
the kind of detailing that is required for this kind of a character and maybe adding slight little bit over here or there. But what was, what was exciting for me was the journey of this character, as you said rightly, from a very mundane professor in a college kind of guy, a little incident in his life, where it takes him and how it takes him and how the film, uh, he becomes a part of the entire story or the entire search of the CBI officer um, is something which was exciting for me as an actor to portray this range from a completely indescript man to a, to a scientist who is ambitious. Right, right. Piyush, your character is sort of pitched as the antagonist. He is oh. the villain of the story. But to me, that's a very simplistic description. Mm. Um, because he's actually someone who starts out as a scientist who wants to test a theory. And then, of course, he makes some very questionable uh, decisions. How did you see him and what became what became your way to kind of get into this character? Ma, for me, every character is a human being. Every character is a human being. Whatever you are, you beyond beyond humanity. You say that you are a human being. पागलपन है या दिमाग खराब है उसका मतलब है कि आदमी मतलब ह्यूमैनिटी के जद में नहीं है जब तक हर बंदा जो है ह्यूमन है मैं अपने कैरेक्टर को सभी कैरेक्टर ऐसे देखता हूं कि हर बंदे को ह्यूमन बीइंग समझ के कि कोई बंदा ऐसा भी हो सकता है कोई बंदा हिटलर भी हो सकता है कोई बंदा मित्रा भी हो सकता है जो मैंने कैरेक्टर प्ले किया है तो वो इतना मतलब मुझे ये इस तरह का यूनिक कैरेक्टर मुझे पहली बार मिला था मतलब इसमें पियानो वो ये लैब में बैठा वो दुर्दांत व्यक्ति है वो साथ में पियानो बजा रहा है पियानो बड़ा मजा आता है उसको इसका मतलब ये कि उसका सॉफ्ट एक्सपर्ट भी है कोई अपने बच्चे को बहुत डांटता है अपनी बीवी को बहुत डांटता है सबका आदर करते हैं हमारे कांपते हैं ये लोग मतलब उसके बच्चे का पेशाब निकल जाता है जब एक बार घूर के देख लेता है है ना इसके बाद में पियानो बजाता है ये सब चीजें जो है आपके मतलब कुल मिलाकर आई ट्राई टू मेक अ वेरी कलरफुल कैरेक्टर आउट ऑफ इट मतलब दुर्दांत रूथलेस निर्मम बंदा नहीं मैं चाह रहा था कि बहुत ही कलरफुल किस्म का कैरेक्टर निकल कर आए जो ऐसा भी हो सकता है मतलब right. हिटलर अगर है तो हिटलर वाज ह्यूमन बीइंग लेकिन वो हिटलर भी था ऐसे ये बंदा रूथलेस था रूथलेस था लेकिन ही वाज ह्यूमन बीइंग ही इज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग तो hmm. वैसे ही वैसे ही ट्रैवल करता है वो शुरू से लेकर आखिर तक आए ट्राई टू ट्रीट हिम एज अ ह्यूमन बीइंग एक ह्यूमन बीइंग जो इस हद तक मैड जीनियस जिसे कहते हैं ना मैड जीनियस होता है जीनियस तो आईक्यू लेवल तो बहुत बढ़िया होता है जीनियस भी होते हैं लेकिन मैड hmm. उनकी इंटेंशन में होता है कि आपके वो अपनी इन्वेंशन इन्वेंशन के साथ में क्या करना चाहते हैं मतलब हिटलर वाज अ डिस्ट्रॉयर तो मित्रा वाज अ इन अ वे डिस्ट्रॉयर मतलब ही वाज नॉट अ नेक 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 भल भलम भलमन साथ वाला बंदा नहीं था भलमन साथ वाला बंदा नहीं था लेकिन साथ में आईक्यू के बहुत जबरदस्त तो मैंने यही था मतलब आपके इतना अधिक मैं अपनी एक्टिंग के बारे में वैसे भी बोलता इतना बड़ा एक्टिंग भी नहीं you know i want to finally say to me to me what was really interesting about this was that you know we've seen time travel stories i mean hollywood does those really well we've seen those concepts explored in something like interstellar um even even in in a in minority report you know these are these are ideas we've seen before but what i thought was very interesting about this one was also how it sort of in on, on in many ways it's sort of rooted in an emotional story and i think that is the indian element of it really the you know the, the shantanu's discovery of who he was and how that links to the larger sort of sci-fi time travel story without giving anything away um i want to ask um i want to ask at the end of it to to each of you to tell me what you hope that that people will take away when you do a project whether it's a film whether it's a show um do you think about that about about what will um the viewer take away will it be pure entertainment will it be something will it be something that's thoughtful and perhaps thought provoking do you have an idea of what you hope um you, you know the viewer will take away from this show मैं 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 यही बोलूंगा मैं मैं यही बोलूंगा कि आपके एंटरटेनमेंट लेके जाएंगे क्योंकि पिक्चर इसी चीज के लिए होती है मेरा मानना है कि आपका सोल आइडिया होता है पिक्चर बनाने का कि एंटरटेन किया जाए मीनिंगफुल ये पिक्चर ऐसी है जिसमें कि लोग बाग बाकायदा एंटरटेन होकर जाएंगे एंटरटेन होकर जाएंगे इसका मतलब नहीं कि आयाशी करके जाएंगे एंटरटेनमेंट का मतलब बहुत बड़ी चीज बहुत बड़ा ब्रॉड टर्म एंटरटेनमेंट मतलब दिमागी तौर पर दिलो तौर पर जहनी तौर पर खुश होकर जाएंगे सेटिस्फाई होकर जाएंगे हमने पैसे खराब नहीं किए और एक बहुत बड़ी बात होती है ये हमारे सिनेमा में पहले था कभी गुरुदेव वगैरह टाइम में कि लोग बाग एंटरटेन होकर जाया करते थे जेन से एंटरटेन होकर जाया करते तो ये पिक्चर जो बहुत दिनों बाद ऐसा सुख देगी ऑडियंस को आई होप दैकोन आई मेक दिस मूवी वॉज टू ओपन अप दिन ऑडियंस एंड इंडियन सिनेमा टू this right way of uh, telling a story that is unconventional and 
outside the box and i hope that that acceptance a certain level of that acceptance within the indian audience is something that i'm hoping to see after this film and if uh, if that is achieved i think the film has done its job and yes of course uh, entertainment because we make movies to entertain people okay. pankaj ji i think uh, as indians we should be proud of the fact that somebody has attempted a script of this kind mm. a story of this kind has thought up has come with uh, with with thought like this and has been able to make it in a manner where a common man of our country world over i would say but of our country uh, who may not be that highly educated in exposure to cinema though uh, can't say it any longer because everything is available now True. so uh, for that person to take away a story back home mm. and feel that he has been entertained in a different manner or a story has been told in a different manner which has been uh, which will go well with 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 a person who ever watches it i'm pretty sure about that abhay i'll let you have the final word Uh, well i think beauty is in the eyes of the beholder so i i i stopped trying to let hope that people like something the only thing i have control over is that i want people to know that whether you like it or not the attempt is that i'm not trying to insult your intelligence i'm taking mm-hmm. it for granted that you are highly evolved nuanced intelligent and this is mine and my team and the entire crew's attempt at presenting you something that hopefully even if you don't love it you won't feel insulted by watching it you know yeah. and the rest well it's it's up to the viewer <laughs> that's just said it's true you know i i think what's what's wonderful about the show that it's actually smart and it actually asks of you to to you know to think about it and to really <laughs> use your your brain and, and and still entertains you i must say here to everyone that's watching this all four episodes of jl50 are now streaming on sony live congratulations to all of you i think you made a very smart show um all the best and looking forward to lots more thank you to every one of you from thank all you. across the world thank you thank, thank you. you thank you thank you, thank you guys thank you. nice to see thank all of you, you guys and everyone yes thank you, so thank you. bye bye